Mark, can you tell us a little bit about the identities that you've used over the years and how you feel about the idea of branding? Um, I, I would like to, I'd like to feel like branding was a bigger, bigger part of, of what I do. But the, the truth is, um, whenever I've tried to sort of, uh, latch on to a, a particular signature or a particular typeface or something or, or a particular image and think this is what I'm going to use for the next 30 years. What happens is in six months I get sick of it and I kind of move on. And I, I always think, well, sooner or later I'll, I'll arrive at a style that I'll just do over and over and over. And then I'll, I'll sort of derive a, a brand a, a logo or a typeface or something that I can associate with that look, and then I'll just use that for the rest of my life. But it hasn't happened yet, you know. I just, um, I don't know. I images that I come up with that I think I want to associate with myself. I just, I just kind of get bored with after a while, you know. And I admire it when I see people do it. And I think, wow, he's had the same logo since 1984. And on the other hand, I think, well, it's sort of stifling. I mean, you have to keep have to keep evolving somehow. You know, I mean, you have to keep changing. I think not to uh, get too metaphysical or, or you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I think it's, I, it's it's a valid, it's totally valid information. And uh, so, let me ask you: as long as we're on this topic. Um, do you feel that same way about the web? Because, uh, you know, it's sort of the way I feel about web design is that, um, you know, people are always, um, when I'm first, let's say, first building somebody's website, they're always like, um, oh, I have to have all my content ready and I have to have all this and all that. And I try to explain to them the same thing that we're talking about is, is that it's sort of a growing, evolving thing. Right. And that it's it, it should constantly be changing and you should be adding things to it and it should be evolving over time. So, right. Um, so tell us a little bit about your website and, um, you know, like what kind of stuff is up on your website and, um, you know, what can people see if they go there? Well, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Here's the situation with my website. I had a uh, disastrous hard drive crash, I guess, about six or seven months ago that, that wiped me out entirely. And um, what happened was I lost the password to my own website. So my website is now a sort of time capsule of whatever the last iteration of my website was and I think the last time I actually touched it was sometime in early 2010 so unfortunately no it is not a uh, living breathing entity it's just sort of frozen there and that's something I need to go in and um, overhaul from the ground up you know frankly um, and I've always kind of looked at it as I'm going to do the perfect website and then I'm going to leave it alone and never touch it. And it's, it's absolutely something that needs to be updated all the time, you know? So, um, you know, I, I hesitate to even point people towards my website at this point because it's like, yeah, that was my website two years ago. That's, that's where it was. And the website I'm building now looks entirely different and I've taken down 80% of the stuff and, uh, you know, that's that's the state of it. So right. Well, so then new things are coming. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, good. They're in they're in the pipeline. Let's say so. All right, great. So, Mark, do you um, donate your time or talent to any charities that you believe in or support? Um, no, no, I don't. Uh, and it's, it's partly because I can't think of anything. I I am that interested in partly because no one no one has asked so uh, I 
uh, met a, a woman a few weeks ago who does something in Pasadena called uh, SideStreet.org, and it's some sort of community art thing where they bring kids in from the neighborhood and show them how to paint and show them how to draw. And I met this woman, and we exchanged emails, and she told me, I should have you come in and do something for Side Street. And I said, yeah, okay. And nothing came of it at all, and I didn't pursue it. So uh, the short answer is, well, no. Okay, so then uh, do you know about my organization called Frogs Are Green? Um, no, no, I don't. Well, it's an environmental organization that I've had for the last, I'm a co-founder, and we've had it since May of 2009. And mm -hmm. we're always designing uh, posters like for Earth Day. And if you would like to collaborate on an Earth Day poster for next spring, mm -hmm. it would be my honor to work with you. There you go. Okay, I just asked good. you. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds <laughs> So we'll good. talk some more about that. All right. That sounds great. All right. Terrific.